Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I have a really quick video for you today. What I need to do is make a really quick little card to go with a gift. I don't need a big card, I just need like one of those little small 3x3 three three cards and that's what I'm going to make for you today. Really quick and easy. So what I'm using today is this one stamp pad which is the Pacific Point. I have my bone folder, I have a pokey tool. I'm going to be using some enamel shapes in the Pacific Point from the um, Brights collection, some Stampin' Dimensionals, I have my um, mono adhesive, and I'm going to be using the Custom T, uh, oh sorry about the glare, a Custom T um, stamp set, and also the T-shirt builder framelit dies. So let's get started move these out of the way I have everything already cut out and ready to go well the cardstock ready to go like I said I'm making a uh, three by three card so I have a piece of cardstock that measures six inches by three inches scored at three inches a quick fold like that then I have a piece of scrap Pacific Point that measures two and a half by three this is just a scrap piece that came off the other side when I cut it and I have another scrap piece of paper. This is the white that is, uh, I, don't even, I don't even have the measurements for it. It's at least three inches because what I'm going to do, oh, I forgot to tell you the other die set that I'm going to be using are the layering circle framelit dies. I'm going to use a, one of the scallops from, the, from that set. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll set those aside and I'll get out, oh, my little cord is in the way. The Pacific Point. I have my piercing mat and I'm using the piercing mat once again because the photopolymer stamp sets do not have a cushion and there needs to be some kind of cushion when you're going to stamp so always use something that has a bit of give to it when you're going to stamp. Um, basically when I, I want a background uh, stamping on here but you're not going to really see much of it because it's going to be covered up by the layering circle but I'm going to go ahead and stamp on it anyway. And really around the edges because that's the only thing that you would actually see. Again, you're not going to see very much of it at all. And at all. So I'm going to fold this because I don't want it to go on the back. And when you do that, kind of go down really hard. Okay, that's it for that. I'm going to set this aside. The next thing we're going to do is stamp our t shirt. In the Pacific Point, this is all tone on tone, tone on tone stamping. Let's press down, make sure it absorbs, and up. Then the next thing, I can let me see what's the next one. Oh, I'm have the little number one from the stamp set. And they're like these little bitty stripes. So I'm going to put that like on the sleeve. And I'm going to turn this just so I can see it a little bit better. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing as well. well that one got away from me a little bit. But that's still pretty good. So while I have it here... I think that's all I'm going to use for the ink. So let me put that away before I get ink everywhere. So I'm going to line up the shirt with the die. I'm going to cut that out. And I'm just going to tape it down with a little bit of washi tape. Now if you're using washi tape or any kind of tape, um, I always take it and pull a piece off if I can find the end. Now if you have the magnetic platform then you don't need to need to do that but mine is put away and so I don't really want to go and get it for this small piece. 
So you just take a small piece of the washi tape and you don't want it too, too, too sticky to make and you don't want it to tear your paper. So I do it on the back of my hand a couple of times. That takes away some of the stickiness and it won't tear your paper when you're getting ready to uh, take it off. So I'm going to do that and while I have that out I'm also going to use the large, I think this is the second largest scallop circle and it fits just fine on the three inch piece of paper that I had cut out from something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those out. Uh oh, you see how that moved? I better put a piece, that piece of washi tape over here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to cut that out with my um, Big Shot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my shapes cut out. So I'm going to put those to the side before I lose them. And this is pretty much it. We're going to I'm going to do one thing before I put that on there. Um, I'm going to stamp a little sentiment on the inside of the card that says congratulations. Now actually I don't need the stamping pad, the piercing pad, because this already has a, um, a cushion on it. This particular die that says congratulations is off of the uh, celebration stamp set that coordinates with the custom T and that stamp set is called oh uh, what is it called designer T and it's still available uh, for the next eight or nine days while we still have celebration going on and so have the correct way and with a fifty dollar order you can earn um, that particular stamp set to coordinate with the custom T st stamp set which is really great and if you need um, information regarding that, I'll have it in the, in the link below this video. So you can go ahead and order that if you want. So, let's go ahead and put this card, quick card together. I'm going to crease that down. And I'm going to just attach the scallop circle. And you'll see how large it is. That's why it didn't need a lot of stamping in the background because that was going to cover it up. And I'm going to put this on dimensionals and we're done. I'm going to put three. I never get these off when I'm on camera. It always takes extra flips to get them. <laughs> I don't know why that is. And we're going to lay that down like that on a little angle and I'm going to put a few stars on here again these are the enamel shapes in the brights collection in Pacific Point and I'm going to put three because everything is better in threes a little small one up there and there you have it a quick an easy card that you can create uh, to go with a, a gift, like a, an, a, an, a gift bag for someone. A nice little boy because I did it in, in blue, but the little girls could have it as well. With a little sentiment inside. You can put a, a piece of white cardstock on the center. I didn't. Um, yeah, but that's it. So here's another one that I did earlier. I used a little circle, small circles for the enamel dots as opposed to the. Uh, the stars and for a little girl I did this one a while ago um, with a little girl shirt that says love you and then I put uh, actual rhinestones in the background I put um, little flowers again they were all tone on tone and this one I used a smaller scallop because the shirt was a little bit smaller and for this one I used a lot larger scallop so that's it that's all I have for you right now Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you'll be notified of new videos when they do come out. If you'd like to receive a catalog or uh, please contact me, I'll have information in the link below. I'll also have information on how you can subscribe to my newsletter or join my team if you wish to do so because right now is a really good time. We have a few days left to do that and if you if you decided to join my team, you will be able to not only get the fabulous starter kit 
which is $99, but you can pick $125 of anything that you want. You'll also be eligible to receive uh, two free stamp sets that's not part of the $99, that's worth a $104 value. So any two other stamp sets that you would like to go along with your kit, you can go ahead and do so um, only un uh, until March 31st. That's when celebration ends and you can get those kind of rewards. But again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, and that's all I have for you today. So thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll be back real soon with another video. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com, and thanks so much. Bye-bye.